A Bradford County doctor is going out of her way to try and save lives, specifically the lives of heroin and opioid users. WNY Samantha Potter met with a doctor and her plan to get naloxone in the hands of more community members. For Dr. Stephanie King, reading headlines about heroin overdose deaths in the community is not something she says she wants to sit back and watch. So instead, she's making it her personal mission to raise money for naloxone kits to become more readily available to the Bradford County area. Dr. Stephanie King, the owner of Holistic and Integrative Mental Health in Athens, Pennsylvania, started fundraising for naloxone kits, a medication that can reverse an overdose that's caused by an opioid drug. This past Sunday, she started a GoFundMe page to raise money to purchase the kits, and so far, the community seems to be on board with helping. And I really think in this county, people do care. They, they know it's a huge issue, but they have no idea what to do about it. In Pennsylvania, you don't need a prescription to walk into a pharmacy and buy naloxone, but Dr. King says in her line of work, she finds many people don't know that or are ashamed to buy one, which is why she wants to distribute them for free. It's one of those things that you don't think you'll ever need, and it's a little bit too late once you need it to like go find it. You have a very, very, very short window of time when someone overdoses to administer this. To put together a naloxone kit, it would cost her about $15. She says once she can afford at least 200 kits, she plans to pass them out at local community events, where she'll be able to teach people how to use them, recognize what an overdose looks like, as well as how to get long-term help. I often hear things like, oh, heroin is not that bad. It's only when it's combined with fentanyl that people overdose. That's not true. Uh, all heroin is bad. I promise you, you will get addicted if you use it, not a hundred times, one time. Dr. King says she plans to have the kits ready to pass out in the upcoming months. To learn more about the fundraiser, you can find a link on our website, WENY.com. Reporting in the studio, Samantha Potter, WENY News.